The Xbox 360 was definitely a giant in the seventh generation of consoles and certainly had a bevy of great games to enjoy. While Microsoft has certainly done a yeoman's job of bringing many of the titles that were available on this platform to their next line of consoles, there were definitely some missed opportunities for enhancements. This is where Xenia Canary, an Xbox 360 emulator, has come to save the day. In this basic walkthrough, I will review system requirements, take you through the initial setup, and go over some settings to get you up and running. The Xenia Canary emulator only natively supports Windows 7 64-bit and above, but can be used on Linux and Mac OS. I should also note that not everything is expected to work outside of the Windows 10 64-bit operating system, so just keep this in mind. You will also need to have the 2017-2019 Visual C++ redistributable installed, though it is recommended 2015 also be installed if you're using Windows 10. The minimum hardware requirement for running Xenia Canary is a 64-bit x86 processor with AVX2 support, a video card that is Direct 3D12 or Vulkan compatible, and 4 gigabytes of RAM. In terms of recommended hardware, you want a fourth generation or later i5 i7 64-bit processor with AVX2 support, a video card that is GTX 90 Ti or later, and 6 gigabytes or more of RAM. I have pinned the link to the comments section for downloading the latest release of Xenia Canary and we'll also have an additional link for things that we'll be going over later in this walkthrough. Click on the xenia.canary.zip to start the download of the emulator. Once downloaded, you can use a program like WinRAR to do a manual install on the preferred location of your hard drive. As you can see, you only start off with two files with the xeniacanary.exe being the one you will click to launch the emulator. After you have opened the emulator, this will produce two more files, one of which we're going to take a look over. For now, I recommend closing the emulator. Next, we will look over a few settings. The settings for Xenia Canary may be a little bit different than you are used to, as much of the configuration for this emulator takes place in the xeniacanary.config.toml file. If you don't see the notepad icon next to the file name, then you will want to do a right click over it and choose the open with option. Locate the notepad app, select it and hit OK. This will allow you to view and change settings for the Xenia Canary emulator. As you may see to your right, each setting has a description and instructions on how to make changes. I will only focus on settings that I'm familiar with, but you can see there is a great deal of things here that can be done. The first setting I want to point out is the internal display resolution. The default for the setting is 1280 by 720 but you can certainly change it if your game supports a higher resolution. Keep in mind you don't want to use this for upscaling, only for supported resolutions. The next setting I want to go over is the draw resolution scale. If you want to upscale your resolution, you will have to change the X and Y axis. If you kept the internal display resolution on 1280 by 720 then adding the next number up, which is 2, We'll bring it to 2560 by 1440 or 1440p for short. Bear in mind that upscaling to 1080p is not yet supported. Upscaling to 1440p and above will require a high end card for good performance. Lastly, there is VSync. For those looking to double the frame rate, you will want to disable this, which means changing true to false. Bear in mind, some games will require a patch to unlock the frame rate, and the patch will not work if you do not disable the vSync. That's all I have for settings at the moment. Next, we will set up the patches. First, we will open Xenia Canary back up, go to File, and click on Show Content Directory. Doing this will create a content folder in the emulator. Now, you will want to click on the second link I provided in the comments section. Download the patches file. Once it's downloaded, open it and extract it to the content folder.
After that is done, open the patches folder. As you can see, there are different games that have patches. Just like settings, you'll be using the notepad to make changes. For this example, I'll use Red Dead Redemption. The only change I'm going to make here is unlocking the frame rate, which just requires me changing false to true in order to activate. Save the change and you're all set to run the game at 60 frames per second. Now that we have everything completed in terms of settings, it is time to play a game. Reopen Xenia Canary and go to File and click on Open. This will bring up the File Manager where we can select the game that we want to play. Xenia Canary can run games with the ISO and XEX extension. It all comes down to how you rip the game. Once you select the game and click Open, the game will start running and you are all set to go. Remember that not all games are playable. You can find a compatibility list for titles on both the Xenia Master and Xenia Canary. I've also provided those links in the comments section. There are definitely some great titles available for this emulator, some that have yet to be released, and I personally am looking forward to enjoying more games on this emulator in the future. For now, this is the core, your entertainment techie, signing out.